So is that argument starting to win the day? Are you, are you seeing uh, people that are hearing that and saying, oh yeah, this makes sense? Uh, yeah, I, I think the answer is yes, because everyone that we've asked to come in San Quentin has accepted. Um, and I think a lot of it's out of curiosity, but it's also, you know, we're, we're not to sound trite, but we really want to start a bit of a movement. <clears throat> and we can, we can talk all we want, but it's those that come in and they have their networks and they start talking about it, they experience what we experience, then that can start to change people. And also we've seen in Sacramento, especially with Jerry Brown, you know, coming in and being much more aggressive about um, education problems and, or, or situations in prisons. Um, I think there is definitely a movement. So when you say movement, um, and, and for those of us here in Michigan, Jerry Brown's the governor, right, of yeah. uh, California. Uh, when you say movement, are you thinking uh, change the California prison system, or, or are you thinking something beyond that? Uh, well, think big. I think a couple things. One is we, we're definitely expanding this. Um, but also what we've seen is that we can not only change um, education, but we can change legislation. One of the things that I wasn't aware of that um, when parolees get out, they can't talk to each other. So that didn't make any sense to us because here we have a collaborative environment. We're teaching these guys to work together. They get outside and they can't talk to each other. Um, so based on, on their participating in the last mile, they can actually, they have that wave, they can actually talk to each other. Um, the other thing is that there's 23 state prisons in California and um, transfer is fairly arbitrary. Um, so what we want to do long term is make San Quentin the graduate school of the program so we can, we can have these satellite programs because we can't be everywhere and some of these programs or uh, prisons are pretty remote. So as they progress, can they come and actually graduate out of San Quentin? These are things that, that I think will happen and they've said basically they can make it work. We're not there yet. But those are not only changing you know, the education, but they're changing how the system operates. So it's fair to say that San Quentin is sort of the prototype for a larger uh, uh, movement that you're trying to... Proof of concept, and, absolutely. And, and why, why San Quentin? Well, to begin with, it's in very close proximity to where we live. And um, they do have more volunteers and more programs there than in any other state prison. And one of the qualifications, or a few of the qualifications we have to accept men into our program is they must have at least achieved a GED. Uh, many of them are either graduates or enrolled in a two-year education program with the Prison University Project. They have to submit writing skills, so uh, writing samples so that we can assess their skills since the requirements include blogging and, and writing for Quora and social media. And um, we thought this was just the perfect climate for our program. But the, so there's some challenges involved, though, it sounds like, not the least of which is, at the moment, prisoners in San Quentin don't have access to the internet. That is a big challenge. Because the presentations that you just saw today in the video all include a technology component and social media and a mobile app. So how do they get it when they can't even experience it? And the way they get it is by reading the books that we provide and also by having the authors and people from, who are CEOs of some of the companies who actually have created the technologies they use come in and speak to them. And so their education is not by experience. 